everybody. It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? What's going? Yeah. Boom, everybody. Um, hope y'all having a good one, man. Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blessed day today, man. Today it's a rainy Saturday in Atlanta. Well, I'm actually not in Atlanta right now. I am in Snellville, Georgia, home of LBRG. And it's back there behind the trees. Can't see it right now. It's back there behind the trees. But I wanted to go up here. I was in the area. I've been meaning to go up here for a while. It's about an hour from my house, so that's why I don't come out here a lot. But I love this store, man. I've been looking on their Instagram. If you're not following LVRG on Instagram, go ahead and follow LVRG Capitalist on Instagram, man. They got some dope stuff. And they got a lot of sneakers in here that I have not seen nowhere else in the city, man. So I just decided to come out here today and see what the hell they got going on exactly. Um, the football games don't come on. The college football games don't come on later on. Want to see the Colorado game tonight. Going to watch a Georgia game, of course. UGA. Go dogs. How about them damn dogs? You feel me? And speaking of the dogs, my shoes kind of go with the uh, uh, UGA vibes. There's a black t-shirt on today. I got these jeans. A lot of people was asking me about these jeans from uh, Jordan Craig Denim. Uh, these uh, uh, cargo kind of like drip going on. And then today I got on the Black Toe Jordan 1 from 2016. It's a rainy day. I don't get, can you, maybe y'all can enlighten me. A lot of people say they don't like wearing their shoes in the rain. I kind of get it when it comes to suede shoes. But I don't really get it when it comes to the leather kicks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, unless you're stepping in some mud or something, I mean, leather kicks don't really get hurt in the rain. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't mind rocking an all leather Air Jordan 1 when it's a little, with a little drizzle outside. You feel me? So anyway, let's go into LVRG and see what kind of shoes they got. Um, I, they probably don't have my size, but I saw that they had those uh, corporate got them um, uh, airships in here. So. I want to see if they got those, and there's a couple other kicks that I have not seen in any malls and nothing like that that they got in here. So anyway, without further ado, let's go into LVRG and see what they got. Do it! Walking up to the store, you feel me? I probably wore these black toe ones maybe four or five times, something like that. I want to wear them more because the rumors that we're supposed to get like a reimagined version of these, I don't know what it's going to look like, but if it looked like Lost and Founds, I'm definitely gonna probably want to pick that up so I get a little bit more wear out of these, man. Anyway, uh, LVRG Boutique with Capitalists. Let's see what they got in here. Hopefully some of the stuff that I saw on their Instagram today, they still got in stock, man. Let's do it. So I'm not seeing the corporate got them yet. I don't, I, they might not have any left. Do have the um, Air, Air Max One Big Bubble, the uh, Navy or Indigo or Obsidian, whatever they call these right here. Very clean shoe, big bubble action. Got the OG action, OG drip going on. I like this shoe. It's sold out on Nike sneakers, man, but it's a fresh shoe. I love the big bubble look, even though I sold my last ones on certain colorways, especially OGs. You know, I kind of prefer the other look, but I like the big bubble. I ain't mad at it, and I like this shoe right here. Those hits are red on the toe right there. It's just a nice looking shoe, man. I love Air Max Ones, y'all know that, man. These are cleansed, in my humble opinion. So they also got a lot of the LVRG gear up here. These shorts are dope right here. Got the t-shirts to go with them. The black ones, fire as well. For the Panda Dunk lovers out there, y'all can drip, drip. Um, and speaking of that black and white colorway, they do have the Air Force One Terror Squads. These sold out on Nike sneakers this morning. But my guys over here at LVRG do have pairs in stock. Very, very good leather on these, man. And you know how everybody kind of been going crazy for the black, white colorway. Give me these Terra Squads all day. And I don't even rock Air Force Ones like that. But give me these every day, twice on Sunday over Panda Dunks. That's just my humble opinion. I'm not knocking Panda Dunks. I just, I kind of like the Air Force One vibe more than the Dunks. Especially with the TS Terra Squad. Um... Joe Crack, I'm thinking that's what that means on the back to JC. Dope and humble. I mean, and <laughs> dope and cleansed, in my humble opinion, man. What the hell is y'all saying? Um, so next up, there's a couple of things, man. They got the, uh, these uh, women's, I guess these are women's, um, Air Jordan 2, got the canvas, got the suede, got the vintage midsole. These are pretty clean. And then the bottom seems to be um, that gray that they've been using too, so. That dark gray is dope. Of course, they got red cements in here, and they put these red cements by the perfect shorts, man. Like dripping, that's dripping. Especially with those shorts, right? Those red ones, woof. 
cleansed in my humble opinion speaking of shoes see this is how hype moves mysteriously the first gray one dropped everybody was going crazy off the travis scott hype and then we got all these other colorways nobody copping it's a dope shoe and i'm a culprit too because i haven't bought any of these but these black whites are clean gray bottoms i always like i told y'all i like them tennis shoes and these are the mac attack joints the um johnny McEnroe guys white blacks i'm just i think the fact that they're sitting like the way they sitting i'll probably be able to catch for under retail soon even in this store they put a lot of shoes on sale so if i can one day probably cop these for under retail that probably be a good look we're gonna wait around just a little bit you feel me i've seen these air max this is like a wheat color of an air max one bro i ain't never seen these before kind of clean that's why i like boutiques um compared to the mall and stuff like that man because you will always see some stuff that you don't never see nowhere else i have not seen this air max one in a mall nowhere and i really like this weak colorway on these man cleansed in my humble opinion so here we have a gem that i have not seen nowhere else i have not seen this shoe anywhere else i'm sure they got them at social status but i have not seen this shoe this is another th reason why hype moves mysteriously. Or people might not even know they they out here. Or like I said, just the silhouette itself. It almost makes me want to buy a pair, but I got my eye on another pair. It's between these and another pair. Social status, Nike, serving fresh goods every day. The box is good. You see the social status vibes going on around the sh uh, shoe box. Dope in my humble opinion. Packaging is crazy. Look at this. Got the social status. Uh, status this looks like it's a dust bag or something like that look like that's what it is it's a dust bag or just like a bag or whatever you got a social status like newspaper in here shop now social status exclusive new colors and then we have the uh nike air attack johnny mac and roll joints and the social status collab action bro got the vintage out soul you got a satin and that celtic or lucky emerald looking green right down the top i don't know if i'm in the right light to look at this shoe there we go bring it to the light a little bit oh this is dope bro these are dope you got the cracked leather upper kind of like a cracked leather suede combination you know what i'm saying lace gang i love that shimmery um i love that shimmery on that green on the swoosh and on the collar and stuff like that I like the vintage dot mix, so I would definitely put like sale or vintage laces in these. And you got the bar. This is a classic looking shoe. It's a collab, so it's a new colorway, but it's still a classic looking shoe for some reason, man. You got your um, social status logo and the orange right now on the tongue. Like, you got some extra laces in here. And I'm sure it's like a theme that I'm missing out on because this look like uh, gumballs or candy or something like that. It look like the laces might be. It might be white. I don't really want to open the box. Do too much. I, can, I guess I can open it. And I'm glad I did open the box because it's an orange lace. I like a dark burnt orange kind of shoelace. And I think that'll make these shoes pop. They're making me want to buy these because the orange goes off of the orange on the tongue. And they got the orange. Boy, see this type of shoe right here? You rocking, man. Don't nobody know what's happening. They don't even know what's going on. They don't even know what just happened when they look down at your feet with these on because they so different. The concept is so dope. Social Status did a really good job on this. Whatever this theme is supposed to go off of, it's nice. And then he brought me a size 12. Look, I ain't even telling him to bring me my size, bro, but he brought me a size 12, making it hard for me to say no. You got green on the lace tips right here. Um, uh, like I said, those laces in there, put them laces back. I don't think nothing is different on the other shoe, but I always like to look at both shoes. Um, and then they got other laces in here. I wonder what color these laces is. So no need to buy extra cream or sell vintage looking lace because you got your vintage looking laces in this shoe right here, man. I'm going to see how much retail is. If it's not too crazy, I might cop these, man. I might get both of the shoes. We'll see. We'll see. The tongues is different on the other shoe as well. Got the social status logo on that one in the orange. And on this shoe, you have kind of like this uh nike just like a different take on a nike uh air logo and on the inside of this shoe you have the social status uh logo on it it says social status right there I have some more stuff up there i can't really tell what it is but that's dope and then they flip flopped it on this shoe instead of the social status logo the shoe with the actual social status logo on the tongue you got the nike on the insole so i don't necessarily know how this shoe fits in size but um, 
this is a dub. Like, these is a win. I heard a couple people say they fit a little snug, but I got narrow feet, so they look like they might fit me perfect, bro. But what I will say is the packaging, the colorway, the concept, the shoe, everything about this sneaker right here is fired. I give these right here a 10 out of 10. Man, packaging, box, colorway. I haven't, I don't know the price yet. Um, find out the price in a minute. But these, this is a, this whole shoe is a 10. This is the type of stuff that, that, that I like about the sneaker game. Like, I'm cool with the OGs and stuff like that. And I'm also cool with, you know what I'm saying, the, one of the shoes that everybody else want but when you see stuff like this that you know a lot of people not gonna be walking around with on their feet i kind of i kind of push towards this stuff right here oh see and i missed these this is the reds yeah the reds are already look like they might be on sale already oh no they in the sale stack it still say 120 on here but this whole stack right here usually is under retail so um i don't know if they under i'm pretty sure since they in the stack they under retail and they do have my size right there that they like half off or something like that eh. who knows who knows i'm clean man so by looking at this box y'all can probably already tell what these is this is the shoe i actually came up here to see if they have my size so i can buy it. i didn't think they would have my size honestly this is a size 12 and y'all already know what these is man Oof. see this would be my first airship if i get these i do not own any airships but the box is crazy you got the uh, corporate, got them. Shout out to corporate at a card right here. You got this airship card right here. You have this, um, I don't know this, I don't know <laughs> what this is. I got a shirt that go with this already. Got kind of got the Tiffany color vibes on it. Uh, and then the shoes are in here wrapped like sandwiches. So I just want to kind of show one of them. So as I get them out the sandwich wrap, this is the corporate got them. Uh, airships i don't own any airships but as far as the colorway that good suede on these man the extra laces kind of got a lighter tiffany color on the as far as the vibe is concerned but man the gray bottoms like i said i don't own any airships i was just trying to find a perfect pair that i would like i was thinking about the i'm on but when i saw people unboxing these on um got the got them right there I saw people unboxing these online, man. I was like, bro, if I can get them for retail, which retail is 150, she said. For the Mac attacks, I think she said 140. So I think I'm gonna just leave with this one. I don't think I'm gonna get both. I don't know, because this is the one I really, really wanted, man. Uh, for the city, size 12. These are crazy, bro. This, like, just on colorway and materials alone, got that fat swoosh. I can just see myself vibing and throwing some dope fits together with these shoes right here. Got a smaller one right there. I don't know before I make the purchase. Y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think. Should I cop or not? I'm probably going to get these. <laughs> I don't know. I might come back for the Mega Tags too, man. But these are hard, bro. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Decisions, decisions, bro. I'm definitely getting the, the corporate got them air uh, ships. They're making it real hard for me, man. They're making it real hard for me. I forgot to put the, top, the cards back in the box. Got to put the cards back in the box. But definitely getting these, man. But they're making it real hard. And it's very, very hard not to get the, uh, the Mega Tags back down, man. Because I love that colorway. And I love the vibes with them with orange laces and stuff like that. They're probably like 300 to get both. So. I don't know, man. Decisions, man. Decisions. See these? I I get excited like they got my size, but they only got like smaller sizes than these right here. So, Oof. OG, Karachi guys, looking cleansed in my humble opinion. We'll skim across the top. You got the field purples. You got the uh, airship airship neutral gray guys. Of course, you got the disrespect chambray Jordan Seven, infrared Jordan Seven, and you got these right here. Show them every time I come. Really nice, dope, 90s vibe colorway. And the uh, Air Flight Hirachi uh, Fab Five, the highs, man. I love those. They still have the um, the lows right here, the elephant prints. Still have the threes. I, I saw these in the outlets recently in my size. I should've caught. Got the vending machine action going. <laughs> Get you a drink. Um, these are the GS like I showed in my last vlog. They got a lot of stuff left in GS, but they do have the uh, Forge right here. Very nice. I don't know. I like these, man. Oof. I like that shoe, man. Kids only, though. You know what I'm saying? All the rest of the kids stuff. They got some 
I still got the Cherry 11s and GS sizes, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? The foams, they got the foams in men's sizes too, I think though. Or the corporates, the corporates came all the way in GS sizes too, which I didn't know. Then they still got some of the um, red metallic or cherry foams in the men's sizes, a couple on left, you know what I'm saying? So get your son, hey, tell me. I did pick these up for under retail um, for like half off, so it's a good cop for me. I ain't mad at it. Especially for some kick around shoes or whatever. The Alpha Forces right there. Just stuff like that, like you don't see in the mall. You don't see stuff like this. You just don't see it. It don't make it to Foot Locker and Champs and stuff like that. I think my wife wanted these. I might get her up here. I don't know. I don't know what size she wearing. Vans. Vans run small, so I might try to see if she she can get an eight in these. I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to text her and see if she still want them first before I make the purchase. Man, so I just decided to choose the wife over me today. I did get my pair of the corporate got them joints. I did get my pair of those. Wifey wanted the Vans. I hit her up to see if, you know, if she wanted the Vans. She said she did want them, so I got them. But then I told her I was buying these, and you said, you mean you mean those teal ones that you were showing this morning that you said that you don't know if they're gonna have your size or not? I said, yeah. She said, give me a pair of those too. So she got a pair of the corporate got them as well. Uh, $355 for everything money well spent in my opinion uh retail the actual mac attack joints that i wanted the social status they are going for under retail on goats so maybe i get those down the line um the hype for that shoe has moved real mysteriously um ever since the first gray one dropped that everybody was getting nobody has been giving a damn about um the mac attacks man so anyway three pairs of sneakers and uh, we good. Anyway, I already resisted one temptation by not getting those mag attacks, man. Being in this area, though, I have to uh, resist another temptation. They already went to this place called Chicken Salad Chick. They got, I like chicken salad. They got some dope chicken salad sandwiches. It was fire. But they also got this cupcake place over here. I don't even see it. It's back there somewhere. I can't, I can't remember the name of it. They got some of the best cupcakes. Whew, I'm a big boy and I like to eat, man. I ain't even gonna lie. I like to eat. I know it's not healthy and I don't eat like this every day, man. But I'm gonna have to treat myself today and get one of them cupcakes, man. So anyway, <laughs> I appreciate y'all for watching. Comment below and tell me what y'all think about this video. Tell me what y'all think about my pickups. Hit that thumbs up button. If you don't mind, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to hit that thumbs up button. I guess that was 10 seconds. Uh, did y'all hit the thumbs up? Did you do it? I gave you 10 seconds, man. Anyway, thumbs up this video. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to them rainy, gloomy skies on them and keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Mike, Rich, no hype, just kick. Jordan, six, eight and nine, fit. Hottest, trans, clank, clank. Clean. Bless, yes, I'm rich